Now for his unboxing video. I'm sure if you probably was paying attention to the Twitter feed. And probably pay attention to uh, the recent drama involving Roku. They almost, uh, Roku almost uh, pulled out all the, uh, almost yanked all the uh, Fox channels off of their platform. Like Fox News, Fox Nation, Fox Business, shit like that. And there's a lot of fucking people uh, pissed off. But they resolved it. But, leave it in. There's something else to tell you what that is. <clears throat> might as well just make, might as well uh, make a series of videos. And provide more video for you. <laughs> more quality video. So, now we're going to unbox uh, this uh, Amazon Fire TV Cube. Yeah, I figured we'll unbox this and uh... And may do a series of comparison videos. And that Roku drama probably happened so close to before uh, the NFL's biggest game of the year. Uh, but fortunately before uh... Roku uh, went through and uh, yanked all the channels off to people's uh... Roku boxes. Roku and Fox gave us some type of agreement. It says powerful performance, control your TV hands free, it says 4K HDR, far field voice control, now let's uh, get this uh, packaging here off. You want to read this, go ahead and pause it, it says control TV with your voice, control your TV with a voice, say from across the room just ask Alexa to turn on the TV and play what you want to watch. Turn up the volume, switch the cable, and control your TV, soundbar, receive more, just your voice. They call it the fastest, most powerful Fire TV. This is one of the ultra powerful hexacore processor Fire TV Cube. A fast food experience plus instant access to 4K Ultra content up to 60 frames per second. You also enjoy the brilliant color of HDR. The support for Dolby Vision HDR10 and the audio clarity Atmos. Do it more with your Fire TV, just ask Alexa. Fire TV is always getting smarter with new Alexa skills and voice functionality. Turn off the lights, set timers and reminders, and check the weather, even with the TV off. You can also view live camera feeds and stream millions of songs from Amazon Music and Spotify. It says tens of thousands of channels, apps, and Alexa skills. It says watch all your favorites from Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, HBO, Showtime, ABC, and CBS, plus live news and sports. It says Alexa, watch Bravo on cable. If you can read that, just pause it. If you if you need that time, so it's included. Second generation Amazon Fire TV Cube, second generation Alexa voice remote, two AAA batteries, power adapter, our extender cable, Ethernet adapter. So it's needed. High speed internet, HD TV or 4K HD TV with HDMI input, high speed HDMI cable. Device controller requires compatible TVs and audio equipment. So that flex of built-in, for field voice control, 4K Ultra HD, high dynamic range, IR blaster, Dolby Vision plus Atmos, Hexacore processor, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. I figure, how would this Fire TV Cube stack up against, say, the Roku Ultra? Well, you're going to find out for sure. <laughs> yeah, and it'd be always be a good idea to simply test the devices out. <laughs> so that people want to get into street, want to, uh, Stream their shit <clears throat> are able to do so. I could definitely say before we proceed the unboxing, the packaging of this Fire TV Cube is a lot different than say the packaging of say the Roku Ultra. Like in say dimensions and all that. I figure the Fire TV Cube is like Amazon's top of the line streaming device. And the Roku Ultra <clears throat> Is Roku's top is, is Roku's top of the line streaming device. So when it comes to that type of comparison, this is you can definitely tell the Fire TV Cube and the Roku Ultra 
This is definitely be like be a very good comparison. Whole series of uh, comparisons for sure. That you can find in future videos. Now we get that part of packaging aside. Let's get to the unboxing part. There is the uh, Fire TV Cube itself. It definitely looks way different. Look at the instructions here on proper placement. I'm going to pause that. Go ahead. Here. This is the uh, Fire TV Cube itself. <laughs> you can see I'm out of the uh, <laughs> that, uh, nice uh, LED lighting on top of the uh, DSLR camera. But don't worry, fingerprints are easy to wipe off. Figures like, say, Input for infrared, HDMI, USB, power. See. USB adapter. Well, the power adapter. USB adapter. Our extender. We extend the range of the uh, remote control. Oh yeah. How about that? It's like USB-C uh, plug there. This yes, you can pretty much plug that right into your uh, wired internet. If you want to plug the uh, Fire TV cube into it. Triple A batteries. Like Amazon's own brand, Amazon Basics. Some documentation. It's like a staff guide here. Hmm, probably doesn't expect, and this is probably just hmm, probably the information about safety and all that bullshit.
There's the uh, remote control itself. Well, it's not different in the road car mode. Say for your pause, fast forward, rewind, home, whatever. For Alexa, power button. What the fuck that's for? Huh, even a mute button. But, but even then we'll go into more detail at the uh go into more detail in a future video for sure. And that is pretty much let's say that's everything right you have right there. The fire TV cube, which looks a lot different than say what the Roku Ultra looks like. A few buttons on it, a few fucking buttons on there and shit. All the uh any inputs in the back are inputs in the back are not the same as on the Roku devices and it's got the AC adapter and infrared cube and all that shit. In case you want to extend the uh, range of the remote control. Brass remote control and the Ethernet adapter if you want to plug into say you want to plug an Ethernet cable in there for reliable wired internet. Oh yeah, documentation. That's pretty much the first part. So like pretty much that's like pretty much like the first part is uh, say a whole series of videos. I'll probably feature the uh, Fire TV Cube, but the unboxing is the first part of it. Next thing you're probably end up seeing is uh, how these are uh, compared to say a Roku device, whatever. How how are these compared to say a Roku Ultra? That'll be definitely in the next video for sure.